Okay, Tom, so you've got a new book. Tell me about it. Why, why this topic, Judgment Calls? Why now? Sure. So I, I wrote this book, Judgment Calls, because you know, I've done all these books on analytics and before that books on knowledge management and so on. And I realized that um, all of these things are intended to create better decisions. Um, uh, I was guilty of uh, a sin, I think, which is that um, I tended to write about one thing at a time, you know, analytics or knowledge management. And other people have done it too. Gladwell writes about intuition or Jim Shurowiecki, the wisdom of crowds or somebody else writes about neuroscience as a guide to decision making. But actually in real life these things kind of all come together and there are multiple ways to improve decision making. So my co-author Brooke Manville and I decided that we would gather examples of good decision making, consistently good decision making on, on important decisions and see sort of what were the factors that led up to it. And we, um, we came up with 12 stories, all good decisions. We make some references to bad decisions in the introduction, but we, you know, we're trying to provide good examples. And, and they're very contextual and, you know, I, I found it harder to write like Malcolm Gladwell than I had hoped, but uh, they're at least story based. So um, you get a sense of a little bit of the, the, the richness of, of it all. So in the book you use the term organizational judgment. Elaborate on that for me. What does it mean and, and what does it differ from what we traditionally know? Sure. Well, our, our argument is that um, you know, we've typically thought of decision making as done by uh, individuals. We call them great men because unfortunately in many cases they were men relying on their solo intuition to, to make a, an important call. Um, but we argue that it's not so much uh, making good decisions isn't about individual decisions, it's about building the organizational capability to do that, which is what we call organizational judgment, the capability to make good decisions over and over and over again. Um, and um, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's sort of how analytics and various other interventions come together. Um, if you're doing analytics and they don't really influence decision making very much, then what's the point of the analytics? Um, but analytics can be a very powerful tool to make better decisions, but it's not the only one. You're typically talking about culture and leadership issues and process changes. And, and increasingly, I think analytical people are going to be called upon to exercise all of those tools in the toolkit and not just the analytics one. Are enterprises ready? Are they there yet in terms of matching up those analytics needs and like you said it's not the only thing they need but with this new sort of mindset of decision making uh, you haven't of heard about organizational decision making you I haven't heard say. about the all the new chief organizational judgment officers that have been named <laughs> in companies yet no i think it's it's early days and this capability you know we we just named it i don't think anybody had really used it much before so um i i don't i think we're kind of moving in that direction um, a couple of years ago, I did a project that SAS sponsored on how companies had improved decisions, and I looked at like 57 um, examples. And um, a lot of them said, a lot of the analytics people, analytics came in number one as the most common intervention that people had used, but um, culture and leadership changes was number two. Um, and data was three, and I think um, education was number four, maybe process. Anyway, some non-analytics oriented thing. And a lot of the people said, you know, we're, we're expecting our analytics people now to, you know, to do stakeholder analysis and to help frame the question and so on. So um, at least from the side of the analytics providers, uh, the recognition that there's more to it than just going in the back room and crunching some numbers. And, I think much more involvement in the entire decision process among the among the good ones.